Hey guys, we're going to be replacing this AC system. So we have a furnace, newer furnace already in place, so we'll leave this as is. Two stage heating, variable speed motor. Uh, it's only hooked up, well, it has two stages of heat, but I think it's timed out. So we'll make sure we're going to put in a new thermostat that will control the staging. So we're going to put in a Vision Pro 8000 with the interface module. So hook up two stage cooling and two stage heating to the interface module along with the humidifier that's there in place. Uh, we got PVC venting that they put in. Uh, need to rework it. We're using the gas line to support it. So we'll probably end up cutting it back closer to those fittings back there and reworking it as needed. Put some proper supports in. So they got the gas line supporting both intake and exhaust. Uh, plumbing is going to be putting in a tankless water heater on this back wall here too. So we're going to be working hand in hand with them. Uh, drain to go around. Floor drain is here. Uh, customer is sensitive to noise. So we'll make sure we put a connect back to that flex connector that's there. Uh, caulking. Uh, make sure we caulk around the filter. They didn't do a good job. As you can see, they just left it open. Left it open down there. Seal up wherever you can for the return air where they did. Just caulk it up, make it nice. Line set goes up and over this way. So the line set currently rubs up against something, so we're going to get rid of this one. Uh, we're going to run a new one through there. Same spot, and I'll show you the other side where we're going to run stuff. Uh, this water heater is going away. Plumbers are going to redo it. Here's the other side here. Humidifier will keep just hooked back up to be controlled by the thermostat. Seal all these holes up that they left open here and here's that PVC just laying on the piping so here's how we're going to run the lines pretty much right above the picture within range here you have to measure and figure out um, customers going to cut access holes for us so Although we're probably going to have to cut an access hole here, we're going to have to cut one in the ceiling there, cut one over there on the side of the soffit, probably cut another one on the side of the soffit, and then cut one here in the bathroom so we can properly support and right on the other side of that wall of the bathroom is where that mechanical room is. So the line set's going to be ringing through here. Probably have to put a solder joint somewhere in the ceiling there. But he's gonna put he's gonna cut the holes, put access panels, just work with him as far as uh letting them know exactly where you want the holes cut. So here's our unit outside. Uh they do have a walkout basement around here. So down there where my shoe covers are is you can get walkout basement for the coil down there. So here's where the lines come through. We're gonna put a new pad. Same location, I'll send some pavers out so we can level out the one side. Disconnect box, uh, we're going to keep the disconnect box as is, take the guts out, put the new one on the inside of there, and then he's going to paint it as long as everything works. For whatever reason we can't use it, just let him know, and then we'll have to uh, put the new disconnect in that spot and then cover the sides with sheet metal and caulk it up so it doesn't leak water. Uh, where we go through the wall, He's super sensitive to noise, so make sure that whatever part goes through the wall, even if we have to cut the hole bigger, uh, make sure it's foam taped around there so that nothing's sitting up against the wood. And same thing for when we're strapping it up in the wall inside. Uh, make sure we use the PVC uh, plastic plumber strap to secure it. Don't use anything metal. So new AC unit, new pad, little wall. New lines, new disconnect, new whip. He'll paint the existing disconnect. Uh, parking to get back here. 
So you could park over there. The street parking, you kind of block the whole street if you park in the streets. So you park over there where my truck is and then walk back here. Uh, then to get the AC, you just kind of go up here and then right here. Uh, thermostat's in the hallway. and So we're going to get rid of the existing thermostat and go to the Vision Pro 8000.